Good morning, Facebook friends and family. How is everybody doing this beautiful Tuesday morning, June the 20th? Today the 20th? Man, time flies. Summer's almost gone. The time to get out those snow shovels before you know it. Don't cuss at me. Uh, I just wanted to check in, say hello this morning, and just hit on a topic real quick that has not gone away, and I don't expect it to, and that is the denial of people, and of some people in America, that there is equal... There is not equal access to political capital and capital in general, which results in the lack of understanding and production and the overall wellness of the underserved people in the community. Actually, minorities of all races and all backgrounds in America, but the key word should be American. And that's something that we don't do well. We segregate, we separate, uh, we discriminate constantly in this, in this country based on economic background and religious and ethnic background. This is something that was addressed supposedly back in 1964 and 100 years before that, actually in the first, uh, the first, I guess it was 1864, I think, 64, 65, when, uh, believe it or not, the first civil rights law went into uh, effect, actually, which it was, it was uh, talking to the discrimination of housing and equal access to people in the country. So uh, back in 1864, I believe, 100 years before the 1964 Civil Rights Agreement, this issue was already addressed, and then it was rescinded like most things in America. So as we move forward, the continued motion of racism, discrimination, to, uh, political policies, and people's mindsets of who and what we should be has become more and more corrupt and more and more unjust. Therefore, people have become more disenfranchised on one side, and the other side have been more politically uh, and morally, actually, I should say, morally corrupt, if you will. So when you have these, these dynamics coming together, we have this divided society that we continue to live in. So which brings me today to this point, uh, with Carlo Kaepernick, you all know, stood up, or rather he kneeled, but it was all stand up uh, against police brutality in America. And I don't know for the life of me why some Americans still don't get it, that there are people in power who are just bad people who make terrible decisions and their overall goal is power, control, and to hurt and inflict pain and hurt uh, on people of color and all kind of background. So this happens, it's never stopped happening since the beginning of this country, how we started. And it's unscrupulous beginning and unsavory things that have been done to people of color, Africans in this country over the long history of where we've been. Those ramifications have lasted hundreds of years and even today we're still living in those vestiges of what has happened and taking place. So uh, for those of you who don't understand and believe that the fight is real, it is and we continue to fight it but when we have soldiers standing at the front like Colin Kaepernick who again risk his own everything his career and his own mind and uh, his fortune, his ability to play a sport uh, because he stood up and he saw something that was wrong in this country and use his own money, his political capital, and his political, just, just overall good, decent human being sense of, uh, humane, humane sense of I have to do something to say something because it's not right. Like a lot of people, he could just stand by and just let it go and continue to make his millions and do his own thing, but I understand people like that with the principle of life and you have to do something to make a difference when you can. You can't always do something, but you do what you can when you can, and therefore results in a better overall wellness for the whole nation and the world alike so these things in life we forget about sometimes the reminders sometimes people just need to be pushed and get going but we need to support Colin Kaepernick and this is what this whole post is about supporting somebody who took and risked everything not because he needed attention or not because he didn't need anything else to do he could take his millions and just sit back and enjoy the good life continue to do what he's been doing but if you ask me his life is more complete now he has more enriched himself as a person, as a man, because he's standing up, giving away all of his assets, his worldly assets, to make a point with the rest of the nation and the world that are watching him, that we have to do better. And we have to cause these people to continue to do wrong and violate people's rights and take lives in general. That's the whole point, is taking lives, but that shouldn't happen. We can do better. We got to continue to support Colin Kaepernick for his sake and for all of ours. We cannot let the NFL owners get away with the fact that they're controlling his his idea and 
he has disrupted what some people will call their sport, their, uh, their, their, their livelihood. Let me ask you this, what's more important, disrupting a game in the name of truth, inequality, or disrupting someone's life by death at the hands of a paid civil servant who has sworn to protect them?